This is Louise from MMA Crazy. We're here with Ernest Chavez. Uh, Ernest, how are you feeling on the run up to this fight? Oh, I'm feeling great. Uh, camp, I mean, camp went well and the weight cut's going where it should be, so it feels good. And how are you adjusting? Um, you know, it's not too bad. I, I, I want to say maybe I'm a little grouchier than usual, but besides that, it's all the same. So you're fighting to hug off this Saturday. Um, what do you think of him as an opponent for you? I think I think he looks like a like a gamer. I think he he's a he's like a pit bull. You know, he, he comes in there, he fights, he goes, he throws hard, he has good stamina. So I, I think it's going to be a, a very very uh, hard, rigorous fight, dog fight kind of style. So how have you been preparing for that? Uh, doing the exact same thing, like how how I, I plan. I, I mean, uh, the fact is he has good footwork. We've been monitoring that to try to like adjust and accommodate to to his footwork. Um, we know there's a couple of things in his offense that maybe I can capitalize, you know, so I think there's going to be a lot more wrestling than jiu-jitsu in this fight. But if not, worst case scenario, if we have to bang the whole time, then we bang the whole time, you know. And where have you been um, spending your time? Yeah, uh, you know, I train out of uh, Southern California, so um, I have two camps out there, All In MMA and uh, Total MMA Studios. So between those two camps, uh, between sparring, wrestling, and everything like that, uh, and some other little organizations, you know, other places that I go there as well, just a cross train. But for the most part, those are the places, and uh, it, it's been good. It's been good. So, when did you make the transition over to Stockholm? Oh, uh, we made it on Monday. So, we came here Monday. Well, no, we left Monday, came here Tuesday morning. So, um, luckily, I didn't, hit, I didn't get any too much jet lag just because I uh, stayed awake for like a day and a half, two days, and then went to sleep with the time zone here. So, it's been pretty good. Yeah, so, you're adjusting, okay. Yes, yes. And how's the weight cut going? Are you on track? Oh yeah, everything everything looks lined up for the weight cut, so um, I'm happy about that. Just because my first time to 45, so I was a little I was a little worried at first actually. You know? uh, so will you be staying at this weight cut? Most definitely. I mean, the fact is I'm too short and I'm not as long as I should be for the 55ers, and uh, especially when I started training and cross training at, at certain places and meeting other 55ers, they're tall and big and muscular, like so so big. So I'm just not that body frame. So. Uh, the, la the loss I had really kind of pushed me towards that and it made me realize what I really am and that's a 45 room. So how do you uh, see the fight unfolding on Saturday? I think, uh, you know, the good thing about him, he's, he's a gamer so he's, he's not going to be scared of anything I do, I'm not scared of anything he does so I think um, we're going to go in there and, sl and sling him out. Yeah, I think he'll take some shots, I'll take some shots, we'll work some jujitsu, we'll stand up, do some more banging and uh, hopefully in the end um, we get fired tonight. If not, I'm still looking to finish. So, either way, I win. I win in the end. Okay, cool. Um, and will you be spending any time in Stockholm after to have a little look around? Matter of fact, I'm staying here for four more days after just to kind of like soak up the the capital, you know. So, uh, I'm excited about that. Yeah, I heard a lot of good things about the area, downtown, and everything. Cool. We look uh, forward to seeing your fight on Saturday. Thank you very much. Thanks.